In this episode, some hacks for your room. So I'm sure many of you have this problem. You have tops on coat hangers that always fall off like this. Just keep doing it one more time. Oh, I can't even get it on. Just keeps falling off. Uh -oh. All you need to do is grab some rubber bands. Put the rubber bands at the end of your coat hanger like so. You can spread out the rubber bands just a bit and that will create a better grip. And all you got to do now is hang it up and it stays. So you know how sometimes you get these irritating shoulder bumps from hanging soft clothes on a hanger? Here's a really simple way to prevent this from happening. So instead of hanging them like this, all you gotta do is fold your garment in half and then you wanna grab your coat hanger, put the hook in the armpit and then you just gotta fold these two over like so. And there you have it. No more bumps. Now if you have a lot of scarves, here's a really neat way to hang them all in your wardrobe. All you need is a coat hanger and shower curtain rings. So I'm going to thread each scarf through the ring like so. Okay, so I think you got the idea. I still have a few more rings left, but I wanna show you that guys can do this with their ties as well. You just thread it through the loops like so. So there you have it, scarves and ties all together on one hanger. His and hers, or his and his, or hers and hers. Who knows, whichever way you like it. Now, if you want to maximize your space in your wardrobe, here's a really neat way to do so. All you need is some soda can tabs. Put the tab on so like that. I've got to add another tab on there like so. Put that in. You can do this as many times as you want. It depends on how low you want your garments to go. So there you go, I've put all my garments on the little tabs. It saved a lot of room for me, which is fantastic. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces, which is awesome. If you're always losing your hair ties, here's a really simple way to keep them all together. You could use a book binder ring, or you could use a carabiner. Thread each hair tie through like so. Clip it together and it's stuck in my fingers. There you go. <laughs> so each time you want to use it, you just grab one like so. Easy. Here's a really simple way to make your room smell nice and fresh if it's smelling a bit stinky from food or boyfriends or, you know. All you need is a car freshener and all you gotta do is put it on your air vent or a fan. If you have a lot of mosquitoes in your room, here's a really way to trap them. <laughs> Did I say that? Yes. Oh, that's hilarious. I did so I'll say. <laughs> so if you have a lot of mosquitoes in your room and you want to get rid of them, here's a really simple way to trap all those blood suckers. So all you need is a cup of warm water, a quarter of a cup of brown sugar, a quarter of a teaspoon of yeast, a plastic bottle which you can cut in half, and some gaffer tape. I'm just going to pour in the warm water, brown sugar, yeast, Give it a good stir. The yeast creates carbon dioxide, which attracts the mosquitoes to the sugar water. It's really stinky. <laughs> it smells, it just smells like herbal medicine. So now that you want to put the top inside like that, so you want to make sure that the tip doesn't touch the water. You want to create a trap for the mosquitoes to be able to fly in. And if you've got too much, you can always pour some out. And now all you got to do is seal it up around the sides so that it's nice and secure. And there you have it, a nice little mosquito trap. So for all of you that get really sick and tired of fold, trying to fold shitted, shitted, shitted sheets. <laughs> so for all of you that get really irritated trying to fold a fitted sheet, here's a really cool hack. Now this is what you end up with usually, something like this. It doesn't quite fold properly because all the elastic corners are all bunched up. <laughs> So here's a really cool trick for you OCD people out there to help fold it neatly. Now this is gonna look a little bit tricky, but it's really simple to do. First thing you wanna do is make sure that your fitted sheet is inside out like so. Then you wanna grab the other corner lengthways. You can see it's still inside out, seam is outside. And you wanna tuck that over the first corner. Then you wanna grab the next third corner closest to me, flip that inside out so that it's on the right side, and you wanna tuck that underneath the other two corners. The last corner, flip that inside out again, and tuck underneath the three other corners. So now, pull these out so that's nice and straight. Now for the easiest part, so you just fold them in however you like it, like so. 
And there you have it, a nicely folded, fitted sheet. Boom! And that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other hacks that you would like to share, please leave a comment below. And if you haven't done so already, please download the free Click Network app to watch all of our videos right before they come out on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.